All right, welcome back to Brighter Rays, and we are looking at Genesis 44. Today we're going to look at some of the lessons we need to learn from this chapter. We call this repaying evil for good, and that's what Joseph tells the steward to say to the brothers that, you know, why you're repaying evil for good. Or, yeah, why you're repaying evil for good. Why did you, you do this to me? And um, that kind of would have been the question, right, of, that Joseph could have asked them a long time ago, all right, when he was just, he was he really doing anything against them when they tried to murder him? No. He was just telling them his dreams, and he, he was just, you know, obeying his father. So why would you pray, repay evil for good? Anyway, uh, let's talk about some of the lessons that we can learn. All right, you know, as students of the Bible, I hope that uh, we have made the, the connections and, and seen the similarities between Judah and our Lord. We need to see that here, especially with the Pledge of Safety idea. Uh, Pastor James Smith from the olden days reminds us, God has undertaken your cause. He has engaged for you. He has bound himself by oath to you. He is a surety, remember, a Pledge of Safety, for you, for your good. The covenant is ordered in all things and sure. It includes all time. It provides for all circumstances. It anticipates all events. It engages for all possibilities. Jesus is the surety of that covenant. He undertook to see it fulfilled in all its parts. He engaged for the accomplishment of all its conditions, for the performance of all its promises. He was bound to see its design carried out. Can he fail? Impossible. Will his word be violated? Hear him. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. He is the surety for all the children, for every Benjamin who goes down to Egypt. And he has said of each one to his father, I will be surety for him. You may hold me responsible if I don't bring him back to you then let me bear the blame forever. And in reference to our misconduct and sins against the law and government of the great ruler of the universe, he has said of everyone, if he has wronged you or owes you anything, charge that on my account. I will repay it. So that's what, that's what Jesus said. He said, I will be the pledge of safety, just like Judah. I will take everything upon me. If anything's wrong, if there's any evil, if there's any sin, if there's any anything that would go against your children, I will take it. I will care for. I will be the pledge of safety for all the Benjamins. We're the Benjamins. <laughs> if we're if we're if we're God's children, we're we're Benjamin. And our brother Judah, who is Jesus, has pledged himself for us as a substitute, taking our place. He died in our place. He took the plane. He took it all. There was evil to be paid. There was uh, problems there that needed to be fixed. There were accusations made against us. And Jesus stepped in and said, I'll take that. I'll be the one who goes into slavery. That's what Jesus did for us. He took our sin and stood in our place. And that's what set us free. So that's a great... Great study, great chapter. It's it's pretty uh, pretty interesting how Judah just steps up like that. I mean, you, you expect that from Reuben, the firstborn, um, but Reuben was kind of a shady character, wasn't he? And um, uh, but Judah is the one that stands up, and you kind of see that, like uh, you know, he would be the come the one through whom the kings would come. But uh, yeah, it's very very interesting. Um, story there. So next time we're going to take a look at 45 and then we get to see the answer that Joseph gives. And, and you know, Joseph just can't hold himself together anymore <laughs> after all that's been said. And so Judah's speech works, right? But the outcome is not what they were expecting. So, uh, so yeah, that's next week. We'll look at chapter 45. So you got a few days before uh, we get into that. So read Genesis chapter 45 and then we'll meet you back here next week.